Hello everyone. Here's a uh, video that I'm going to mirror with permission. It deals with uh, an issue I've been struggling with for many, many years, uh, and that's the issue of time symmetry. Except for very specific situations, uh, physicists generally tend to expect um, existence to be symmetrical. Uh, we look at the human body, uh, two sides of the body are symmetrical, uh, the sun is a sphere, a sphere is symmetrical. Um, we generally like symmetry. And what we find with time is that this symmetry seems to be broken, and we don't understand why. Uh, one way that I like to think about it is if you think of the past as being fixed. In other words, it's fixed, it's solid, it's, it's like uh, ice, it's frozen, you, you can't go back and change it. However, the future is more like a gas. It's kind of, uh, you can move your hand through it, it's flexible, it's, um, and hasn't been set in stone, or in our analogy, set in ice. Whereas the future represents a gaseous situation where everything is still moving about, there are all kinds of potentials, nothing is really set. It's changeable. Um, and this is a real problem, particularly when we are also considering the um, philosophical or theological side of uh, existence, because we have two apparently conflicting situations. One is that uh, our religious beliefs uh, often believe in uh, prophecy, and prophecy is seeing into the future. Well, are they seeing, as people like Edgar Cayce in more uh, modern times suggest, they're seeing uh, simply the potentials, the possibilities of the future? Well, uh, if you're biblically inclined, then you say no, that, they, that what they saw was the future, that these things uh, that St. John, for example, saw are, are going to come to pass. This is part of what we believe in terms of uh, end days, Armageddon. But the problem here is, is the implication then is that the future is fixed, that it is in fact uh, immutable, that it is, uh, as, that it is symmetrical. So in this sense, uh, we like the idea of, of, of prophecy uh, because it suggests that, yes, they are seeing into a future which is just as fixed and immutable as the past. Then we have the other side of the coin where we say, well, no, that can't be because then we don't have free will. Then we are simply playing out uh, our parts that have already been uh, pre-established. So we observe consciousness and our ability to choose and we say, well, that can't be right either. So this fellow has a very interesting take on things and I'd like to share it with you all because for me, it does uh, begin to lend a solution to this problem of time symmetry and why this symmetry seems to be broken uh, at the moment of the present. Um, so let's watch this video. Enjoy. The fine-tuned universe is the proposition that the conditions that allow life in the universe can only occur when certain universal fundamental physical constants lie within a very narrow range so that if any of the fundamental constants were only slightly different, it would have been impossible for life to have evolved within the universe. This video will put forward the idea that the only reason the universe seems as though it is fine-tuned is because the fundamental physical constants are formed by one universal process, and that Darwin's theory of evolution is based on the geometry and therefore the mathematics of this process. This makes all life from its origin an integral and interactive part of the physics of time and geometry of space-time. This is possible because in this theory Newton's universal law of gravity is a secondary force to the electromagnetic force and the thing that links the electromagnetic force and the gravitational force together is time itself or to be more precise, time dilation. The universe is in a process of continuous creation, continuously coming into existence with each new photon oscillation, 
Because the photon is the carrier of the electromagnetic force, electrical potential is the same potential we have with any future event within our own reference frame. We see and feel this process as the flow of time itself. This is based on two postulates. The first is that the quantum wave particle function, or probability function, represents the forward passage of time itself, with the future unfolding photon by photon. The second is that Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, that is formed by the wave function, is the same uncertainty we have with any future event within our own reference frame that we can interact with, turning the possible into the actual. In this theory, objects form their own time by slowing up the rate that time flows relative to their own energy or momentum. Gravity is not a real force. Objects just free fall towards the greatest energy because it has the slowest rate of time or the greatest time dilation. The reason why this creates a universe that seems to be fine-tuned is that the process is universal from the largest planet to the smallest creature everything will form its own future space-time geometry by slowing up the rate that time flows relative to its own energy the evolutionary process and therefore all life is based on the geometry and therefore the mathematics of this one universal process this can best be seen in plant life in the form of the Fibonacci spiral being visible in almost every type of plant life intelligent life will form its own evolutionary path out of this process relative to its own energy because energy space and time are interlinked by this process the timeline of the individual life form will be visible as line symmetry within the physical shape of each individual life form in this theory time is non-linear because we have an arrow of time for each reference frame for each life form or object we all have our own timeline from birth to death but this is within a cosmological timeline for the whole universe that is linear this process is universal for each individual part of the universe as it is for the universe as a whole the whole universe is a sphere of probability forming an infinity of possibilities an observer will always be in the center of their own reference frame within the center of their own potential infinity this is because we all create our own future relative to our own energy and momentum therefore an observer can never get to the edge of the universe because he is creating his own space-time relative to his energy it makes no difference what galaxy you observe from you will be able to look back in time in all directions at the beauty of the stars this is because energy time and space are interlinked the greater the time dilation the greater the length contraction of space and the greater the curvature of space-time in this way an infinite universe fits within a finite sphere as long as the sphere is expanding continuously in space and time as an infinity of possibilities therefore within such a theory the universe always seems to be fine-tuned or in perfect balance it can never expand into nothingness or undergo a big crunch collapsing in on itself thanks for watching please subscribe and rate it will help in the promotion of this theory well i see by the old clock on the wall there's a dead fly and that means we gotta go for half a mole before part two of the speedy clip show so now let's turn it over for a moment to today's teenage guest disc jockey it's all yours fella and don't be nervous don't be nervous don't be rocky you're our teenage guest disc jockey now